Snakes, masters of stealth, strike, and potent chemical cocktails. We casually call them poisonous all the time, but here's the shocking truth. Biologists cringe when we say that. See this snake? Its bite delivers a targeted weapon. That frog? Its skin is a passive defence. Both are lethally toxic, but one is venom. The other is poison. The difference isn't just wordplay, it's life or death. It's about how the toxin gets into you. Stick around because we're diving fang first into the surprising science. We'll break down the crucial biological definitions. Hint, delivery is everything. Explore how snake venom works, a terrifyingly complex cocktail of toxins, reveal the rare poisonous snakes, yes, they exist, and explain why this mix-up matters way more than you think. Few weapons in nature are as efficient or as terrifying as snake venom. Unlike poison, which must be absorbed or ingested, venom is a biologically active cocktail injected directly into its target. Snakes deliver this lethal payload through specialised tools like hollow fangs, grooved teeth, or even spitting mechanisms, turning their bite into a precision strike. Venom serves two brutal purposes, hunting prey and self-defence. Some venoms paralyse in seconds, while others liquefy tissue from the inside, a nightmare-inducing example of evolution's creativity. Among the most infamous venomous snakes are cobras, whose neurotoxic venom shuts down nervous systems, and vipers, whose hemotoxic venom destroys blood vessels and tissue. Then there are the elapides, like Australia's inland taipan, the most toxic land snake, whose venom is so potent it could kill 100 humans with a single dose. Even more fascinating are snakes like the spitting cobra, which can accurately spray blinding venom into the eyes of threats from several feet away. Each species has honed its venom for maximum efficiency, whether for subduing fast-moving prey or deterring predators. But how did snakes develop such a diverse arsenal? Venom evolution is an arms race spanning millions of years. Early venomous snakes likely had simple toxins that helped immobilise prey, but as their targets evolved defences, so too did the venom. Some venoms became neurotoxic, targeting nerve signals for rapid paralysis, while others developed hemotoxins to cause internal bleeding. Recent research even suggests that venom genes evolved from harmless proteins repurposed into deadly tools. This constant adaptation has made snake venom one of the most complex and finely tuned biological weapons on Earth. For decades, Hollywood and casual conversation have blurred the lines between venomous and poisonous, leading to a widespread myth that all dangerous snakes are venomous. But here's the reality. True poisonous snakes are an exception, not the rule. Unlike venom, which is actively injected, poison is passively harmful. It must be touched, eaten, or absorbed to take effect. This key difference changes everything about how these toxins work in nature. So, do any snakes qualify as poisonous? Surprisingly, yes but only through diet. Take the Asian tiger keelback, Rhabdophis tigrinus, a snake that feeds on toxic toads, stealing their poisons and storing them in specialized neck glands. When threatened, it oozes these toxins from its skin, making it dangerous to eat or even handle. Another example is the common garter snake, which can absorb toxins from newts it consumes, becoming poisonous to predators. These snakes don't produce their own toxins. They <laughs> borrow them, turning their prey's defenses into their own. While venom is their most infamous weapon, venomous snakes have evolved a dazzling array of survival strategies to avoid conflict altogether. Camouflage is their first line of defense. Many species like the gaboon viper with its leaf-like pattern, or the desert-horned viper that buries itself in sand, become nearly invisible. Others rely on intimidation tactics, 
Firm cobras flare their iconic hoods, rattlesnakes shake their namesake tails, and some non-venomous snakes even mimic these behaviors to fool predators. A clever trick called Batesian mimicry. When threatened, many species will hiss loudly or strike with a dry bite. No venom injected. A warning shot to scare off threats without wasting precious venom. But when push comes to shove, venom is the ultimate multi-tool. For hunting, it's a fast-acting prey subduer. Neurotoxic venoms, like those of mambas, paralyze in minutes, while hemotoxic venoms, like rattlesnakes, cause shock and internal bleeding. Against larger predators, venom becomes a life-saving deterrent. Some snakes, like spitting cobras, even use it as a long-range weapon, accurately aiming for the eyes to blind aggressors from a safe distance. For humans, the best defense against venomous snakes combines knowledge, prevention, and respect for these remarkable creatures. Always stay vigilant in snake habitats. Watch your step in tall grass or rocky areas, and carefully inspect where you place your hands when climbing or gathering wood. Wearing proper protective clothing, like sturdy boots and long pants, provides essential protection in high-risk areas. Avoid dangerous myths like tourniquets or trying to suck out venom, which often cause more harm than good. Remember, snakes aren't aggressive by nature. They prefer to avoid confrontation and only use venom as a last resort. By understanding their behavior and habitats, we can safely coexist with these ecologically vital predators while minimizing risks. While snakes dominate discussions about toxins, nature's poisonous creatures extend far beyond serpents, and their adaptations are equally fascinating. Poison dart frogs, flaunting vibrant neon colors as a warning, secrete batrachotoxin through their skin, a poison so potent that a single golden poison frog carries enough to kill 10 humans. In the ocean, pufferfish accumulate tetrodotoxin in their organs, making them deadly to eat unless prepared by licensed chefs. Even invertebrates join this toxic club. The hooded pitahui bird, one of the few poisonous birds, harbors homobatrachotoxin in its feathers, while certain millipedes ooze cyanide compounds when threatened. What drives such diverse species to develop poisons? Evolution has repeatedly stumbled upon this brilliant defense strategy. When an animal can't outrun or outfight predators, becoming poisonous offers perfect protection. This phenomenon, called convergent evolution, explains why unrelated species like frogs, fish, and insects independently developed toxins. Their poisons often originate from diet, like dart frogs processing toxins from ants, or symbiotic bacteria, as seen in blue-ringed octopuses. Humans have long exploited these natural poisons. Indigenous peoples used dart frog toxins to coat blow dart tips, while modern medicine harvests pufferfish toxins for painkillers and cone snail venoms for diabetes treatments. Even deadly nightshade plants, used with poison-tipped arrows historically, inspired critical heart medications.